It's all coming back to us now. Celine Dion's powerful hits of the 90s. But this time around, they're getting the Broadway treatment, <laughs> leading to what can only be described as a Selena song. So Will Gans has the details. Good morning, Will. Good morning, Janae. Celine Dion has sold more than 200 million albums globally and charted 21 songs in the Billboard Hot 100. And now, instead of the radio, fans are flocking to Broadway to keep that jam sesh going. Near, far, wherever you are. Celine Dion. The defining diva of this Broadway season. When you want it the most, there's no easy way out. Is it fair to say that we are officially in a Broadway Selena Sans? Oh, 1,000%. Oh, I want to say that we started the trend, too. We did. Marla Mendel and Constantine Rasuli are the creators and stars of Titanic. I would describe it as Celine Dion, international diva sensation, believes that she was on the Titanic with Jack and Rose from the movie, and so she's narrating the story through her eyes and her songs. The unlikely cult hit now celebrating a year of sold out success. We call it anti-musical musical. She breaks the fourth wall, we will laugh. I mean, it's just very off the cuff. And of course, people love Celine. Her music also in Broadway's Tony nominated and Juliet and some of Broadway's biggest stars belting her hits at Broadway Sings Celine Dion at the Sony Theater. As the singer herself has taken a step away from the spotlight due to ongoing health complications from stiff person syndrome, super fans are flocking to this musical love letter to Queen Celine. We're very grateful because, you know, as theater kids growing up in this business, I would have never imagined us writing a musical and having it be a hit. Like, I, that just was not in the world for me. For anyone ready for a Selena sans of their own, a lightning round. What would Celine Dion do? What would Celine Dion sing at karaoke? Ooh. Ooh. What do you Probably think? Rihanna's work, 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 work. Work, 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 work. work. Uh, what advice would Celine give a friend going through a breakup? Get over it. <laughs> It's gonna be okay, girlfriend. Yeah, it's, you're going to be fine, girlfriend. Because you know why? You're with me, Salem, and um, can I give you my autograph? <laughs> <laughs> there it is. For Celine fashion, how do you unleash your inner Celine style? I would wear a chandelier because I feel like. Oh, yeah, remember her uh, Met Gala? That Met Gala look. How like, could I just forget? Find a chandelier in your home and put mm -hmm. it on. Put it on your head. And just like walk the streets. And walk the streets, yeah. yeah. And then you'll be Celine. Yeah. Just and camp. Right. Celine stubs her toe. What does she yell out? Oh! <laughs> no, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, my toe. What is Celine Dion's favorite off-Broadway sensation now playing at the Daryl Roth Theater? Have oh. you heard of Titanic? It's the best show off-Broadway. You know why? Because it's uh, with me, Celine. Yeah, what she said. <laughs> <laughs> In a recent Instagram post, Celine Dion says she can't wait to see all of her friends, ag friends again soon. Until then, Titanic is the musical love letter, keeping Celine's biggest hits in the spotlight. Where they belong, girlfriends. <laughs> oh, ooh, nailed it. Shall we go for it? <laughs> <laughs> Thank Bravo. you so much, Will. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.